I'm Jenna of All Trades and welcome to my channel. We are talking about astrology again and today's sign we're going to talk about Scorpio. Now what do we know about Scorpio? A lot of people usually say, oh Scorpios they're scary or never make a Scorpio mad which is true, never make a Scorpio mad, okay? <laughs> but there's a lot more to them than that. And we'll talk about why people say things like that. Scorpios are not bad. Y'all are just intense. <laughs> so a Scorpio is somebody who was born between October 23rd and November 22nd. And again, this can be a little iffy depending on if you are saying it's October 22nd to November 21st. And I'll say that pretty much in every video, just in case it's your first time here. The dates are a little iffy, but in general, it's the 23rd to the 22nd-ish. Um, the duality is feminine, which means that you are self-contained and internally strong. Your triplicity or your element is water, which means you are emotional and intuitive. And your quadruplicity is that you are fixed. You're pretty resistant to change and instead of being the originator of something, you're usually the perfecter or the finisher of that thing. Your most likable trait is idealism. That speaks volumes about the kind of person you are. You are imaginative, passionate, emotional, subtle, persistent, intense. <laughs> You're also obstinate and unyielding. When you get an idea and you have like an opinion, it's very difficult to get you to step down from that. You require lots of information, lots of proof, and lots of intelligent conversation before you will consider changing your frame of mind. That can be a very good thing, actually. You really hold on to your ideals. Again, idealism. Scorpios are the ones who see what a perfect world could be and hold on to that idea with every fiber of their being and they get almost to the point of just saying well guess i might as well just throw myself off a cliff when they ever feel like it's just not possible major idealists and i love that about them but let's go back to this thing about persistent and intense like scorpios when you feel something you feel it deeper than any other sign. It, it's like if a knife cuts a person, it cuts the other signs like fairly deep. When a knife cuts you, it cuts you so deep and then it twists. That's a Scorpio, you just feel things. And then that's where the intensity comes in. The good things that you feel, you get so passionate about and you're just, you can't stop going like toward it. You, like if you get an idea, you are so persistent with that idea intensely so. On the opposite side of that, if you have a negative thought or a negative idea or somebody hurts you, you are very intense in how you feel it and how you react to it. Um, you are, however, practical. Very, very practical. You see the practicality of things and think, that's the way I want to go. You're not one for luxury for the sake of luxury without it having a practicality to it. You like useful rather than pretty when it comes to objects. Uh, you aim toward a higher consciousness. Scorpios are constantly trying to think. You know that, that meme where it's like it says one thing and then you see the brain and then it says like the next thing and then you see the brain light up more and then the next thing and then the brain light up more. Scorpios are trying to get to that last frame where the brain is like like a beam of light all the time. They're always interested in philosophy, the metaphysical, anything that can get them to just reach that higher state of consciousness, whatever that means to them. You have a sense of purpose and destiny. I'm thinking of the Scorpios that I know in my life. One in particular is a very good friend of mine. And he very much has a sense of purpose and destiny. Whether his purpose at the moment is to let everyone know about the weird videos he finds on YouTube. Because we all need to know about true facts. If you guys haven't seen Zay Frank's true facts videos, this guy is where I found that. And he's constantly sending me amazing videos that I, I didn't know about. It is his duty 
to let me know that there are funny things on the internet that are also educational. He, he takes it very seriously, actually. <laughs> um, and that sense of purpose, just when he feels the need to promote an ideal, there's that idealism again, it is a dire need for him to be able to use his voice for good and to spread this message. Sorry, my neighbors are deciding to be extremely loud today. So maybe they're Aries or Leo and they're just very mad that I'm talking about Scorpio and they need all the attention on them. <laughs> no, there are great qualities to, Lib to Libra and, or to Leo and Aries. We will get to that in another video, but come on, that was funny. Um, <laughs> oh, Scorpios, you do nothing, nothing with half energy. You do everything whole. You put everything you have into everything that you do, even if it's sharing memes, absolutely. And your strength is hidden in depths. You are one of the most intricate signs. You have a depth to you and you, you don't let a lot of people know about it. You let people see what's on the surface, which again is why people think, that a cat just ran that way. <laughs> That's why people think Scorpios are so scary. It's because they don't let you in to see the depth of everything there. You see what's on the surface and they are very emotional people. So you usually see the emotion on the surface and sometimes they're intense about it and that can get a little scary. But Scorpios aren't scary. They're just deep. Hello, cat, she's just running laps. Um, the thing about you guys is that, that you're calm to the world but you're ferociously persistent and very strong-willed underneath. You don't always let people know about that. They see this calm demeanor, this eh, fun guy on the outside, but really you're just constantly, constantly at work on the inside. Scorpios, you don't like accepting defeat. In fact, you won't. You won't accept defeat. You will find any way possible to work around what is stopping you. Find another way. I read one of the one of the things I read in this book was that it's you can turn any disaster into a new adventure. Like you lose your job, well, that sucks for a minute and you're going to feel that very deeply, but you're also going to take that and turn it into the most planned out, intensely designed new adventure. That is amazing about Scorpios. I love that. Um you always have a hidden agenda. Now, that sounds like a bad thing, right? You always have a hidden agenda. No, that's not always a bad thing. Maybe your hidden agenda, maybe you wanna to talk to this person because you wanna to try to convince them to do something good for the environment. Well, that's a good hidden agenda. But you rarely do anything without purpose, and I think that that's what's meant by a hidden agenda. You don't always tell people what your purpose is, but you never do something without purpose. And again, see, Scorpios just have all these beautiful qualities that nobody ever talks about because they can't get past, don't make a Scorpio mad. But again, I reiterate, don't make a Scorpio mad, ever. <laughs> you always need to be in control. That's a big one. Scorpios always need to be in control, whether it's in control of themselves, their situation, or sometimes the people around you. People have called Scorpios manipulative because they can be. Again, not always for the wrong reasons, but sometimes when they feel so out of control, they can turn to the dark side. Obi-Wan. <laughs> they can turn to the dark side. Wait, Obi-Wan never turned to the dark side. Why did I say that name? Anakin turned to the dark side. <laughs> Star Wars. Anyway, maybe Anakin was a Scorpio. I'm going to look that up. But anyway, so you, you feel this need when you're out of control to just control everything and that can, that can tend to take you over to that dark side and make you kind of manipulative, wanting to control the people around you. And it's because you absolutely need to be in control of you. And sometimes you feel like the only way you can do that is to control other people. I feel that, I understand that <laughs> as a teacher especially, but uh, again, like I said, you're intuitive, so that makes you good at controlling people around you. You're very intuitive of what other people feel, what they want, what they need, what they want to hear. And that can help you be a little bit manipulative. But again, it doesn't always have to be a bad thing. I feel like I'm like making sure everyone doesn't see Scorpio as a bad thing because they do. 
it's one of those it's one of those signs leo's aries and scorpios they're the ones that people see as negative because oh well these two just want to be the center of attention or they're always mad aries are always mad and then they see Scorpios as like, they're just mean. They're not mean. They're just intense. And when you hurt somebody or make them mad, they're intense about it. And that's why you don't make them mad. <laughs> just like, here, here's the kicker. They never forget a kindness. If you are kind to them, they never forget that. But they also never forgive an injury. You hurt them, they will never forgive you. They may still be your friend but they'll never forget it and they'll never fully forgive you for it. Because again, they feel it very intensely. You didn't just cut them, you stabbed them and let them bleed out. That's how they see it. They are fierce competitors. Uh, Scorpios, you, you love competition and you are good at it. If, if there's a prize, you're, you're probably gonna try to win it and you're gonna have a good shot at it. Because again, you're just really good at controlling the situation around you because you need to so often that you've gotten a lot of practice. So you're really good at figuring out what your competition's gonna do because you're intuitive and you're good at just planning your own attack to where it's really gonna work. Um, you cannot skim. I'm thinking about my friend, right? He can't skim a book. You can't skim anything. You need to know everything he has like six different versions of his favorite book because he needs to know how everyone has translated it his favorite book is dante's inferno he has like a million different translations of it he has a favorite one but he has a million different translations of it because he needs to know everything about it and when he studies something he studies it in depth scorpios do that because you need to know everything and everything about that thing because you're obsessive <laughs> Scorpio's very obsessive. You get an idea and that idea just like ticks away at you until you can just just know all of it or finish it or whatever your goal is, you're gonna obsess over it until you reach that goal. And then you're probably gonna still obsess over it because there is more past that goal that you didn't think of in the first place. <laughs> very obsessive. Again, not always a bad thing, but can be bad. So you gotta watch that. And the last one, and uh, it's part of that obsessive, part of that needs to control, part of that intuitive, part of that intensity. Scorpios can be extremely suspicious, very jealous, and very wary of those around them. They need to protect themselves because they know that they feel things deeply, so they don't want to get hurt. They don't want you to hurt them, but they're always feeling like you can because they know you can, and they don't you know they're scared so nobody wants to get hurt especially somebody who knows it's like it's like somebody with fibromyalgia I know this is weird but hold on stay with me when you like when you just like lightly tap my arm it doesn't hurt but when you lightly tap somebody's arm who has fibro it hurts it feels like needles it feels like fire that's the difference between hurting a Gemini and hurting a Scorpio you heard a Gemini, eh, whatever. I mean, it hurts, but we'll get over it. You heard a Scorpio, they won't get over that. They won't forgive it. They won't forget it. It hurts so badly. So they're constantly on, on the, like, oh, I forget the word I'm looking for, but constantly needing to know that they're not gonna get hurt. So they're gonna be suspicious of you. They are gonna be wary of the things you might do, and they're gonna be a little jealous, so. That being said, uh, romantically, good signs for Scorpios to be with include other water signs, Pisces, Cancer, other Scorpios, because those are the signs that understand what it's like to be very emotional and very intuitive. To Both of the signs, both of those people probably will have jealousy and insecurity issues, which can be good together because they can use each other for support. That's why water signs can be really good together. Um, the worst sign for a water sign is an air sign because air signs can be very flighty and they can say things without really thinking about what that might feel like to the person that they said it around or to, and that can sting. So water sign sensitivity is not really great with an air sign. And the air signs are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So 
those are not really the best ones for them to date. Again, it's not like you cannot date those signs. It's just you're going to have some extra issues to deal with based on personality types. You can absolutely be with the wrong sign and let it and, and it be a good thing. Again, my parents, they were opposite according to the zodiac. They were the worst thing ever, but they managed to make it work and they had a beautiful, beautiful love. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for talking astrology with me. These videos are probably my favorite that I've ever made because they're just so much fun. I can talk about astrology all day. I love it so much. Um, please subscribe to the channel for more astrology and other, it's like a smorgasbord on this channel. Um, I don't really have any schedule right now, so hit that notification button so that you can get notified when I post a video and hit that, I keep using thumbs up for notification, but I mean hit that thumbs up button so I know you like these videos and so that YouTube can go, hey, wow, people like those videos. Let's push them out and let other people know about them because it'd be nice if a lot of people hung out with me and talked astrology too. So yeah, thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in a video real soon.